You don't have to fly around the world to enjoy great cultures, music, and dancing from around the globe. And that is because you can find it all right here in the Triangle with the 29th Annual International Festival in Raleigh. Joining me now to tell us more about the International Festival is our Focus Executive, International Focus Executive, Melissa Rivers, driver, sorry, and local artist, Bob Rankin. Is that right? That's correct. Great. Okay, sorry. I was so excited we were dancing before the break. All right, so what is going on with the festival? Well, we, like you said, we're in our 29th year. We're really excited about all the new things that we're doing this year. We're bringing in some big bands from out of town and from locally. We'll be bringing back the Chuck Davis African American Dance Ensemble. Love Bubba Chuck. Yes, <laughs> yes, he's awesome. And you know, like you've already said, we're going to have food, 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 food. <laughs> the Brazilian cheese bread. The, the cheese Brazilian. bread she was already yes, eating. Yes, that's one of my favorites. We'll have Tanzanian samosas. We'll have Asian Ooh. dumplings. We'll have. Italian pizza that's really some of the best and all kinds of good stuff to eat. And Bob, you did the poster artwork, right? I did. Tell the, me about it. This is the 25th year that I've been doing this and I do it as a volunteer and it's because I love the festival. I've uh, traveled all over the world and this year celebrates the seven natural wonders of the world. Nice. Wow. It's beautiful. Look at the vibrant colors. In so that. pretty. And mm. so like did, how it was, it was like so much detail involved in that. It did. It took me about 40 hours to complete. Wow. Mm. 40 hours to do that? That's incredible. All right. Well, people will get to see that at the actual show. But, Melissa, also, there will be actually people becoming citizens at the event as yes. well. Yes. It's one of the most heartwarming things that we do at the festival. There'll be between two to 250 people who will be becoming citizens on Friday afternoon. Um, we'll be joined by Judge Britt as well as the Department of Homeland Security and um, the court system. And we'll also have the 82nd Airborne All-American Chorus singing with us. Mm. And we'll welcome these new citizens into Raleigh and into the festival. And, um, you know, just are really looking forward to being there and celebrating that time and that special moment with their family and it friends. It is truly special. Now, this is a family-friendly event, plenty for children to do. Oh, absolutely. We had ladies out on the convention floor today putting together gigantic origami installations for the kids to see. We'll have origami for them to make. We'll have sorry time. We'll have storytelling. We'll have quizzes and contests and a passport scavenger hunt. That's always a huge deal with the kids. Mm -hmm. They get to take their passport to every country that's there and answer some questions and find some things in the cultural exhibits. I and love those because you can always go around and like it's almost like Epcot where you go around and exactly. you, get, you got your little passport. Exactly. So that's awesome. Thank you both so much for being a part of this and explaining all the international festival activities to oh, us. Oh, thank you. WNCN thank is you. a proud sponsor and Alex and I will be there. So come say hello to us. The festival is Friday through Sunday at the Raleigh Convention Center.